man, what in the world? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Umbre? Nothing. Here, what's the idea? Get up! Your name's Buck Bonner, ain't it? You know darn well it is. You killed a couple of men in Tondo County last April, didn't you? Now, wait a minute. Just don't break And me. you've been in several shooting scrapes with disastrous results to the parties opposed to you. Is that right? You know it. But... Then you're the gun-swinging buckaroo we want. Turn him loose, boys. Let's see if he'll stand without hitching. Sit down. What's the matter with you? Cactus. You boys vamoose, but guard the door. I want to talk to this bad hombre alone. Read that. Signed by the governor. Yes, Buck. It's a special appointment. Because we need you to do a special job. You know darn well I resigned from the service. Then you can consider yourself drafted right back in. Yeah, but I gotta take care of that ranch I bought. I wanna build a house. Oh, thinking of going into double hitch? Well, of course I, I ain't found me a running mate yet, but... Uh, you can't I... renege on the governor, Buck. Fact is, you ought to be mighty proud that he thinks enough of your work to assign you to this. Hey, what is this important job? Trouble's popping in the Big Bend country. Cattle disappearing. Bunches of steers just drop plumb out of sight. Now, your job is to find out where and why. Big Bend? That covers a lot of territory. That's why we picked you, Buck. We can't send a marshal up in there who's known. We'd only warn them, and they'd just lay low. You suspicion anybody? The Mont Ringer gang. <laughs> That's the toughest bunch of hombres north of the Rio. You know, I don't like anything better than that, Tom. But I got that ranch. I got to build it up. And besides, I haven't got an outfit here. I got a better idea. When we buried the Morning Glory kid, we put him in his coffin in a nightshirt. And I was thinking of you when we did it. Now you'll find his gun, saddle, and clothes in that room. Go on, get into them. Done it, Marshal. But he has three by six on Boot Hill. You said you'd turn us loose if we planted him. And I'll keep my word, boys. Now you'll find your Bronx down at the jail corral. You boys light him and get out of town. If I ever catch you and Marva again... Hey, hey, what about our guns and things? In that room. Do you see what I see? Yeah. Didn't we just bury him? Yeah. And I haven't had a drink this morning.
Well, you look more like the morning glory kid than the kid did himself. Now when you get into the Big Bend country, Buck, you prod around and you find the Star M Ranch. You'll meet a swell old fellow, Pop McCoy. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Well, he'll tell you all he knows. Then you'll have to work solitaire. I'm dependent on you, Buck. And the governor's dependent on you. Hasta la vista, muchacho. Till we meet again, kid. I don't like the way you said that, Tom. Sounds too final. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, Sonny? A little weak in the knees, cowboy, but I'm still in the ring. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. I, I thought you was a boy. <laughs> Say, well, what's this all about? That man belonged to Mort Ringer's outfit. My father's been having trouble with him. Who is your father? You ever heard of Pop McCoy? Well, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm his daughter. My name's Jessie. We own the Star Land Ranch over the other side of the range. Say, you know, I've come an awful long way to talk with your father. Well, say, come along. Do you mind helping me up? I'm still a little Oh, sure the not. Hey, uh, you know your horse lost a shoe? Uh, tell me something about this ringer outfit. They're just sad, that's all. Big bunches of our fat beef stock just disappear and you can't find a hide or a bone. Oh, that's funny. It isn't funny to us, but we know who's to blame. Yesterday, my father accused Mort Ringer to his face. They had a terrible run-in. Oh, I see. Looks like you've made an enemy out of Ringer, too, <laughs> considering you shot one of his best men. Yeah, it does for a fact. Say, what's your name? Oh, what's the name among friends? here. Keep out of sight. I'll go. I'm going with you. You stay here. I don't want any girls around.
They got Pop McCoy. Say. Who's that horse belong to? I bet it belongs to the fellow that got the ball. Hiya. Take it to your McCoy men. I'm Welsh Foreman. Yeah, and who are you? I'm Buck Bonner from Martha. Special deputy. Sent down here to see Pop McCoy. That's what I found. You don't look like a deputy dressed in that rig. You're a marshal. Where's your badge? Never carry one, but uh, Miss Jessie McCoy knows me. Where is Jessie? Left her on the hill. I didn't want her to get into this. We'll give you a chance to prove what you say. And if you're on the level, you won't mind handing over those guns until we see Jesse. Yeah. I'll get the boys to take care of Pop. Take him over to his horse. It's all the same to you, fella. I'll ride your horse. Good idea, cowboy. Well, he looks pretty fast. And you might leave it. If you don't mind. You can ride my horse. Horse? Yeah, he has got four legs. Which way? Follow me. So you left her here, huh? Yeah, right here. We're holding you for murder. For what? I suppose you didn't know. The Ringer gang laid for us last night and cleaned us out of 50 head of cattle. Or you were down there killing old Pop McCoy. Now, wait a minute there. You're going a little bit too far. You're a loco. Tony, I'm riding for the marshal. Ought to be back tomorrow night. Run this lumbry back to the ranch house, tie him down, and tell the boys to comb the Big Bend country for Miss Jessie. And if he tries any tricks, plug him. Move! You wouldn't shoot a man in the back, would you, Tony? Why not? You did. Did you ever kill a man? No. Well, I have. I didn't want to, but I had to. It ain't a pretty thing to remember. But I never shot a man without giving him a chance. Why, even the Morning Glory kid wouldn't do that. You're the Morning Glory kid? I didn't say that. You are. There's a reward out for you. And if you don't head back towards the ranch, I'm going to plug you right now. Go on. Move. All right. That's a little trick I taught him in uh, case I ever needed it, and I sure did. What are you going to do? Hug me? Huh. Now, Tony, we don't do it that way. Knew something? No, but I found something. The trail of a horse with a shoe missing.
Adios, amigo.
Some Judd and some of the boys. Hey, they've got somebody with them. Yeah. Hey, Mort! Mort Ringer, come out! Well, Mort, I carried out your orders. There she is. Looks like you fellas been treating this young lady kind of rough. You'd better turn me loose, Mort Ringer. I couldn't think of it. I've been waiting for this visit for a long time. You couldn't find your way back to the Star M. My father will pay you. Pay you anything you ask. Your father? I reckon it's gonna be a long time before you see your old man again. Which one of you fellas is uh, Ringer? Oh, I'm Ringer. What are you doing here? Been riding hard. Had trouble with the law. What kind of trouble? I saw a marshal in Marfa last night. Yeah? Funny you should happen in here right at this time. Had to hide somewhere, didn't I? What's your name? Morning Glory Kid. You ever hear of him? Morning Glory Kid? Everybody in Texas knows of the Morning Glory Kid. Whoa there, sit there. Where are you going? So you're the morning glory kid. Cheetah. Take care of her. What for? Because I told you to. You ain't going to keep that girl here. Don't argue with me. Do as you're told. Come on. Hey, Ringer, gotta tame her down a little. I'm aiming to tame her plenty. So you're the morning glory kid, eh? Uh huh. I'm gonna give you a chance to prove it. And if you're who you say you are, we learned under the same master, Jack Slade. Slade? Slade. Oh, yeah, yeah, good old Jack. He taught us one trick. You know that trick? Yeah, yeah, I know it. Sure. I'll uh, go put up my horse and I'll be with you. Wait a minute. Judd, get a couple of cans. Now, when I say go, make a double draw. And if you're really the morning glory kid, you better not miss. You ready, Judd? Go! Pick him up, Judd. Want any more proof? You'll do. <laughs> Not bad shooting. Uh-uh. What about them Star M cattle? Oh, we lifted them off of Welch, the foreman. We got them hidden in that corral behind the ice house. Uh, we'll go to work on them in the morning as soon as the covered wagon gets in. Hey, I don't like snoopers. <laughs> Neither do I. You know, I kill a fella just for peeking once. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Shall we join the ladies? I'll join them, kid, but not you. All right, I'll go take care of my horse, then. 
Pop McCoy's dead, and this fella I'm telling you about comes out of the house. Hey, you're a plum fool, Welsh. That muchacho is my best deputy, Buck Bonner. Well, how was I to know? It looked pretty bad. Anyway, we got him tied safe and sound up at the Star M. Then the Star M is where we're heading. What, now? Tonight? Tonight. We'll make the Big Bend country by morning. We're gonna settle that ringer outfit once and for all. Thanks, you can have my share. Hey, Mort, I think your wife's sore at you. Mort, Mort, I didn't mean it for you. I swear I didn't. I'll tend to you in a minute. You see, that's what you get for bringing gals to a nice, quiet, sociable party. If I was you, I'd send her home to her old man. I didn't ask your advice, did I? No, but I'm giving you some for nothing. Yeah, well, she might as well know right now that everything belonging to her old man belongs to me. You get the idea? Sure. Now the party's over. Clear out, all of you. Show the kid his bunk. Sure. Night, Mort. Night. Keep your eye on him. Well, Mort, shall I take Cheetah for a nice long walk in the moonlight? Yeah. No. No, Mort, you can't do that. Please don't. Please, please, Mort. Come on. Wait a minute. I'll give you another chance. The Mexican border is only 40 miles from here. Get going. But not tonight. That are. All right. I'll go. But I'll fix you, Mortlinger, and fix you good. me where I bet down? Right there. Thanks.
Hey, kid, you always sleep with your boots on? Always the first night in a strange camp. Better find him. Our mortal hang our hides on a fence. I don't know where he could have gone. I never closed my eyes all night long. I never did either. Hey, are you sure you ain't seen nothing of that new man of ours? No. There he is. Hey, kid, where have you been? Oh, just looking at the morning scenery. Did you ever hear that little poem? I love to look at the morning sky, cause for night I gotta die. <laughs> What's that? Cow! Good morning, boss. Hey, you guys, don't eat it all out. Save some for me. Ah, go on. Pass that hey, hey, Good morning, morning, boys. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Hey, you sit down up there. Oh, sure, Mark. Hey, how's me? Very hot here in this country. Have some eggs? <laughs> Better eat something. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Thank you get used to me and the boys, and then you won't be so fussy. Hey, what are you hammering about? I want my breakfast. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, you get it. Oh, I see. We'd have been here hours ago if you hadn't insisted riding off at the trail in the morning for a night of poor lad. Oh, that had nothing to do with it. You getting drunk and landers in jail all night. Oh, don't blame it on me. You started mixing your drink. Oh, forget that. I told you, Amish. Oh, don't get stuff. excited, Mort. We're here, ain't we? Yeah. What kind of a price you get for the beef? Better than the last trip. Sold it right to the soldiers at the barracks. Huh, fine. Your old man sure raised prime beef, Jesse. Who's that, Umbre? Oh, he's a new member of the outfit. Meet the morning glory kid, boys. What's the matter? What's the matter? Why, that ain't the morning glory kid. They got him two days ago. Yes, and we bury him. Yeah? And who is he? Why, he's the United States Deputy Marshal from Marfa. Put your hands above the table and get up on your feet. Your men are right, Ringer. I am a United States Deputy Marshal, assigned to a special job, and that's to ride herd on you and your gang. 
Now, Miss Jessie, you can just start lifting the artillery off of these fellas and toss it out the window. And you can start on Mr. Ringer first. Jesse, you'll find our horses by the trees up beyond the house. Get mounted and wait for me. Mr. Ringer, I'll be back for you later. Buck Bonner. Who? He means the morning glory kid. I mean my best deputy. What have you done to him? Oh, he made a kid away. You rattlebrain. Who are you? Where'd you come from? If you want to save Jesse McCoy, you'd better ride and ride fast. Ride where? I'll show you. I want to be there when you take Mark Ringer. See, if you're leading us into a trap. No trap for you. But it's one for Mark Ringer. Say, there's somebody else there you want, too. Who? The Morning Glory Kid. Well, I'll say we do.
swim. They're up above. We got them hold in like a coyote. Why don't you come out of shooting now, Marshal? What are we going to do? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. We'll smoke them out. That'll bring them down. Smoke. What the dirty.
where the ringer gang operated from. If you want to see something, take a look through that hole over there. I'll do that after we take care of these fellas, Buck. All right, come on, get moving. Come on. Step lively. Buck, come on down. We can't come down. And besides, I quit. And I don't mean maybe. You can't quit. I got another job for you. He's got another job. 